is Apex Legends dying? That is the question we're going to be talking about today. With over the entire season for season 21 so far, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think this season is probably one of the more boring seasons I think we had. Season 19 and 20 were also really bad. We had Conduit in season 19, which was decent at the start of the season, but season 20 was also really awful. And now that we actually have a new legend and some stuff at the start of season 21, being more than a month into this season now, like I predicted earlier this season, we did not nearly get the amount of content that the game really needed to keep people interested. And the only thing we actually seem to be getting is a bunch of skins. So we're going to kind of talk about the state of the game, how the, the game, everybody at least says the game's dying, kind of the, that type of thing in this video. So if that interests you guys, it's going to be more of like a chill rant type video, kind of just talking about the game and the state of the game. I did one of these a while back, and we're going to kind of discuss it again because that's kind of the hot topic right now. So not going to be too much on screen. If you guys want to tab out, listen to me talk. I think I actually have some gameplay of me getting a, almost a 2,500k or 2,500 damage game. I think I, I might have that. I'll throw that in the background for you guys. So if you guys do want to watch that, that'd be cool. But uh, if you guys know pretty much about at least my recording, that's about a week ago. We actually had the lowest average player count for Apex Legends, at least on Steam. For PC, console's way different because I know that the console player base is way higher than the PC player gate player base. So we're going off the Steam charts, but at least for the Steam charts, I think it was the lowest it was in over, I think, like five or six seasons uh, this past week, which is kind of sad. And I think the main reason why is just we just don't have no content for the game. What is the reason to really play Apex right now? The game is plagued by cheaters, ranked as garbage. There is no new map for this season. There's no new weapon yet again for Season 21. We're supposed to be getting a new map for Season 22, but that's still a long ways away. as another month and a half away, at least. And, like, by this point, like, is a new map going to bring players back to the game and actually make the game actually want to, like, upward trend? Like, is it, or is it, like, too late at this point without having, like, major new content for the game? Not sure. I think if we get maybe, like, a new weapon and a new map for this, this next season, maybe it'll be a lot more beneficial for the game but at this point i don't even think like, a new map for the game is actually gonna help the game really that much it's not really gonna do that much so or at least in my opinion because I, I think right now the the maps we currently have especially just getting a new map i don't think it's really enough to kind of save what what the game's kind of going on i don't we, at least when i'm recording this we actually have a brand new skin event that's going to be in the shop i think it's the the void swap event there's some really cool skins there's a really cool conduit skin where she's actually like Revenant and the Revenant's actually swapped the conduit and there's a few other ones. I don't know if that's actually going to be like an uh, um, event where you can actually like craft the skins with like crafting materials or like only buyable skins in the shop like some of the last ones. I'm not 100% sure. There is also a Lifeline Prestige skin that looks really awful. It's kind of like a cosplay of Caustic is what it's supposed to be. I feel bad for you guys that have been waiting for a Lifeline Prestige skin because you guys have got absolutely ripped off. And if you pay over $150, $60 for that, like, you were legit one of the dumbest people ever paying that money for those type of skins. I think the main the main problem with the game, too, is, like, EA only cares really about one thing currently, and that is how much money they can fucking make out of everybody. If they can get a dime or a few dollars out of your wallet, that is all they really care about currently. And they are bypassing every quality of life thing for the game that is pretty much, like, to be expected of like any any single like piece of content ever like compared to every but all the other games they are going out of their way to not even bother like fixing the cheaters like fixing ranked like especially with the content like altar was great like I'll, let's talk a little bit about altar because altar was a really good legend but like i think the problem with altar is she's just too team based the majority of your players for the game are going to be sitting in like a duo or a trio every single match that maybe once in a while for rank, some people play with like a duo or a trio with some of their buddies. But Alter, the main real problem with Alter and why she's already on the decline with like one of the lower pick rates, she's still relatively new. But I think, especially going like the next one or two seasons, I think she's going to be having like a pick rate around like Newcastle, on like probably one of the lowest pick rates in the game. She's a really cool legend, like overall, like personality wise and design wise. But I think kit wise, she's just not really like something the game really needed. I had a lot of hopes for Alter going into this, like, with her being released, because I think she was really cool, but even trying to play the shit out of her and, like, really testing her in depth and trying to make her work, 
overall, I think Alter's kit really just doesn't really fit the game. Or at least fit what the majority of people really wanted out of a new legend. And that was more of like a solo queue type of legend. Her kit's just way too team-based. And like if you don't have like a coordinated team, if you're just playing your random solo queue match with a bunch of shithead pubs players that just run and die in two seconds off drop like almost every single match like her kit really does not do that much she has a decent tactical that's can be good for you and your team but like apart from that her alt really isn't the greatest unless you use it with your team coordinated her passive is eh it's okay it's pretty much like a mini loba alt but on a passive i guess mainly only good in like your later game circles where you're able to kind of loop closer death boxes Apart from that, like, what does Alter really do? Like, I, I don't know what she really does. She has some really, like, high skill cap with, like, her tactical and that type of thing, but apart from that, like, I've been seeing a lot less Alter lately, too, because she's still a new legend, and people are already not really playing her that much, which is a really bad sign. It kind of rem reminds me of, like, Newcastle when he got released. He was really played for, like, the first week, and, like, after the first week, he dropped off significantly. I've kind of seen the same thing with Alter, and that's kind of why... Really cool legend design and personality wise and like everything else. She'll also get some really cool skins here coming up as well. She has a skin where she's actually cosplaying Octane, which is kind of cool. But there's a, I think she has another skin too that's on the way too. And like one of the next one or two skin events down the line. At least that was a leaked. But overall, I think Alt is probably going to be one of the more legends has one of the lower player rates in the game. Similar to kind of like Newcastle and some of your other legends that just take way too much skill to make them work or just way better on like your sweaty three to four for like duels and trios and I guess four stacks because they are going to be bringing tree quads into the game. I don't know. We're, at least for the, the update we're supposed to be getting in a few days is when we're recording this. We are going to be getting some other like type of content. I think we're supposed to be getting like TDM or something's going to be rotation again for mixtape. We're getting quads instead of duos or uh, trios, I think. And like we're supposed to be getting the void swap event. But like apart from that, we're not really getting enough to really... It's not really worth talking about. So that's why I'm not going to really talk about it very much. I don't think it's really enough to kind of shake up the game. So... I think another major problem with the game right now, too, is just the cheaters. I don't think I've ever had a season where I think I've had more cheaters, especially in, like, pubs matches, to where, like, I, I have to, like, report people, like, almost every other game. There is such a problem right now with cheaters to where, like, I've actually seen, like, multiple games in a row, especially recently, where I'll actually go into a pubs match. What people are actually doing is they're actually creating new accounts and they're using public pub games to level up the accounts to sell them off using cheats. And I've been in so many fucking pubs lobbies recently to where there's like an entire duo or like a trio of like brand new smurf accounts, like under level 10. And they somehow just fucking down everybody and they sit, they're sitting there aimbotting or like walling the entire game. And they're just sitting there trying to level up accounts with hacks on them so they can get them to high enough to where they can actually join ranked. And then they go and sell the account off and then they just repeat the process. And none of these accounts ever get banned. Nobody is getting banned right now. If you're uh, playing the game, more than likely you're probably going to run into some type of cheater. Yeah, I'd say if you play like 10 games, you probably like two out of your 10 games, you're going to find a cheater, which is probably the most ever. I've been playing the game since season eight. And this is the worst season ever I've ever ran into cheaters, especially on console. They are absolutely running the fucking game on console. I've never seen this fucking bad. I had a game earlier too. I had a game about a week and a half ago where the guy had a the guy had a level 120 account. His name was a uh, Grim Lo Grim Loves. I can't even say his name because his name is actually really inappropriate. I'll probably it's one of those explicit nicknames that shouldn't even be allowed as a nickname. But you guys can probably get the idea putting two to two and two together. The guy had a level 20 account. He per, he bought the prestige skin for Loba. And the guy was using fucking wall hacks on a level 120 plus account. And he knew he was never going to get banned. So he's buying all the fucking skins he wants because he's never going to get banned. And that is absolutely just fucking pathetic currently. That is how fucking low the game has gotten to where we have hackers that are, they know they're never going to get fucking banned. So they're buying skins on accounts that have should have a high possibility of getting banned. And they don't care because they know they're never going to get banned. And they're actually buying $160 skins on, on accounts they hack on. And it's going into lobbies with like NSFW like account names 
and explicit account names that shouldn't even be allowed at all. And they're getting away with hacking plus having that type of shit in public lobbies. I've never seen it before. I even have a screenshot of it. I think I've showed a few people on stream. Those of you guys who do catch my Apex streams, I think I showed them on there. I took a screenshot of who they actually were. And I was going to maybe try to turn them in, but like I don't have any video evidence. So like I, they don't ban anybody anyway, so I'm just wasting my time. That's kind of just another thing. Nobody ever gets banned anyways. I ban, like, I try to report people nonstop, in, whether they're throwing, trolling, n saying profanity to, on me uh, through the voice chat. Like, nobody ever gets fucking banned. I don't know how many people I try to report on, like, a weekly basis. Nobody gets banned, whether they're a cheater, they're a thrower, or they're, like, doing some other shit that has, like, an inappropriate nickname or account name. If that was me, I'd probably get banned, but nobody else ever seems to. Like, nobody ever gets banned. I don't think they actually ban anybody. I really don't. I think we've went from... Like, I went from getting my own account banned for an entire week, I think, like, season 11, because I called myself trash in the in-game text chat. I got my account banned for an entire week. We went from that... Which is really fucking stupid. But now we're, we went from that to having cheaters run the game and none of them ever get banned. Or like even like the other bad stuff that normally would probably get you banned for like a week or, or more. Nobody ever gets banned. And the main problem is that is they really want the money from everybody. That they're scared if they ban people, that's one less dollar they actually get in their pocket from skins or like any type of content they're selling. Really sad. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. How was your guys' season 21 been for the game so far is have you guys have been having a good season or is it just as boring and bored with the season that, as i am I, like it's probably one of the most boring seasons ever especially with season 20 20 and 21 were probably the most boring seasons i think i've ever played of apex legends and ranked as garbage too i may have made it to like back to platinum for like the first time since like so I think it was season 17 when we had the original rank before it got reworked again, which I made it to diamond that rank for that season. But like, since like season 17, I made it back to platinum. So, I, I mean, I did that. That was barely, and that was just an absolute slog. It took fucking forever to do that as well. I think you, maybe if you have like a duo or a trio, you can maybe enjoy the game a little bit more because you don't have to really rely on having random brain dead idiots on your team every fucking game that just either die off drop or do legit nothing or you do one little thing wrong and then they go on the voice chat and they start screaming at you and calling you the n-word and a bunch of other shit that they should get automatically banned for and they just never get banned for it and then you, you're sitting there wondering why am i even playing this game i don't know Overall, hopefully with season 22 coming up, we get a brand new weapon and hopefully the new map's really, really good. I don't know. I, I'm really sick of the skin events, too. It seems like the only new shit we're actually, we do get for, like, an entire season. We should be getting, like, trickle content, if anything. We should get, like, trickle content the entire season, similar to, like, what Splatoon 3 or Splatoon 2 used, used to do, where they would dump a huge bunch of content at the start of the season, and, like, halfway through towards the end of the season, they would release it, like, other stuff slowly so people would come back and make the game more interesting. I think this would actually be something that Hibex should start doing. But the only thing we fucking get is skins. We don't get actual like any new content at all apart from like, the start of a new season. And it's a major issue. Why don't we get any new stuff like throughout the entire season? And no, not trios, not quads, not any game mode that isn't apart from like the normal battle royale or like ranked. Like, I'm talking, like, actual, like, new shit to the game. New weapons, new maps, new legends, like, shit that is not skins. Where is all the stuff? I, like, I just don't know. That's something we just really need. Or we need to go back to giving, like, having new legends every single season, because ever since they switched to, like, every other or every two seasons for having new legends, I feel like the legends have just been gotten really bad or, like, really boring. They, they're good for, like, the first week to about maybe a month and then everybody either forgets about them or they're just over broken at least balance wise to where everybody's plays i'm kind of similar to conduit i, don't, I love conduit i think she was a really good legend of the game but i don't know that just kind of that type of thing let me know what you guys think in the comments down below kind of more of a rant type video kind of going off the script kind of just talking about some stuff so if there's anything i forgot to mention as well let me know in the comments down below that'd be great not too much else to really add.
overall, hopefully we get some changes to the game going into Season 22. I'm, I'm not going to really be streaming much Apex either going forward, probably for the rest of the season, for like the next month and a half, whatever, however long it is for the rest of the season, because I'm just bored with the game. I got the battle pass done, and like legit, I got to platinum for ranked. I'm done playing ranked now. That was my goal. I made it to platinum. Now I got the battle pass pretty much done. At least when I'm recording this, I'm like three levels away from 110 on the battle pass. Like, what else is there for me to do? That's the main problem, too, is like there's just no incentive to really play the game at all. And we don't have like any weapon or like hero mastery challenges or whatever for this season, like they did for season 20 to give us like a free skin, like the race skin or the, the flatline recolor we got. They don't have that this season either, so that's even one less reason to play. Granted, I never did those challenges anyways, because I just don't play Wraith, and I just don't really care about those skins. But still, it was kind of nice going on and getting some free extra battle pass stars. That, that At least that was a lot better. I don't know. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. Really appreciate it. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys in a future video.